Ask the expert. You may have noticed that the weather is getting nice. Aren't we posing for that iconic photo here? That yeah, I did, I did right, that right. photo. I'm Actually, we're going to be talking about how to be working in your backyard. And, you know, it can be hard work to be out there in the yard yeah. and in the garden. So Absolutely. We have, and we got our friend David Pritchard here from Wellness. No, you're Absolutely. not from Wellness.com. That's, that's, that's the other guy who's the financial that's guy. That's, that's Wednesday. That's yeah. Wednesday. And when we see that forecast, we're going to see a lot of people out there busy on their yards. Yes. And some yeah. of the best tips I've ever heard was, I'm going to hire somebody, so yeah. I won't need this. <laughs> that's true. But if you can't hire somebody, there are things that you need to worry about and think about this early on. Sort of like preseason. We mm -hmm. train for a run or we train for a triathlon. Mm -hmm. We need to train to take care of our house. Okay. It's okay. so a lot of stiff backs. I mean, mm -hmm. I have Is one. Is that some yeah. of the thing you, those are some of the... Um, Come. Injuries you can get? Absolutely. You mean stiffness. I mean, say, think about it. You're two to three hours out there bending on your, you know, in your you know, a hunched over position. Mm -hmm. yep. Your knees are bent, your neck and your back, all mm -hmm. that pressure. Yeah. And Breaking. when we think about, you know, 800 calories an hour you can burn by working out in your garden, mm -hmm. if, you know, Wait especially lawn mowing. So one of the things I want everyone to think about, number one, is posture, especially when it comes to, like, even pushing the lawn mower. A lot of times I see my neighbors out there and I want to go over there and correct them, but they're <laughs> slouched over. And over time, an hour of cutting your grass, mm -hmm. that's a lot of pressure on your mm -hmm. spine. Now, the same thing. And I want everyone to know that this is dirt. Yeah, it looks like authentic dirt there. This you is actually, dirt from my yard. He's trying to prove to you I, that he actually does This is dirt from my work. yard. I didn't buy this at Home Depot before I came. So when we think about just like snow shoveling that mm -hmm. we've done in the past, when you go to shovel, you want to have those oh, knees bent geez. and that butt back. So mm -hmm. if you think about three to five pounds, is the average size of a mound of dirt. Mm -hmm. That's five times the amount on your back mm -hmm. if you're doing it wrong. Okay, so those are the things you want to be cognizant of. Get is, your knees you know, involved. Bend your knees, get your hips out. When you're pulling weeds down there, if, you're, well, if you have small kids, yep. get them down there to do it for you. Ah, that, All right? yeah. But over time, if you're, if you're bending down, try to have one knee down on the ground mm -hmm. and bending instead of seeing people like this yes. over 10 or 15 Multiple. minutes. Exactly. So I'm going to give you this. Now, the fun rake. Okay, yeah. let me show you a couple stretches that I want everyone to do before they go out, okay? Yeah. One of the things that you can do, and your neighbors might laugh at you and look funny, but you're the one that's not going to be sore the next day. This is right. true. It's just simply twisting side to side, just back and forth. Right. Get that lower back and that spine ready for motion. Now, the other one is a simple bent over Stretch. Yeah. Why am I doing it in the backyard versus the Yeah, because the, the neighbors might start backyard. teasing you like but you're again, getting ready to do the Olympics. What you're doing is you're stretching yeah. out those muscles that are involved in that gardening activity, sure. which is so, so important, okay? And then one of my favorites, obviously, is just a simple squat up and down, back and forth. Mm -hmm. Now, you're going to be bending your knees throughout right. an hour or two or three hours in your yard, so you've got to stretch out and get ready to go. Right. Now, I brought this. This is my favorite the foam, yeah. tool, the That's, foam roller. How does the foam roller okay. work That for comes in at night, right? It does. <laughs> it does. You want, to, you want to be ready the next day or the next weekend ah. to do it all over again. Yeah. So this breaks up fascia. That's just connective tissue yeah. that gets really tight when we injure ourselves or we overwork. Mm -hmm. So this is a deep tissue massage. This is a very inexpensive deep it tissue really massage. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you can find this at any sporting goods store. Mm -hmm. And you want to do it for about 10 or 15 minutes. There's mm -hmm. tons of great YouTube videos out there that you, you can do. You don't want to show us? Well, one of my favorites, the full body foam roll, yeah. is simple. You lay on the ground. One of the areas that get a lot of pressure is our lower back yep. right. and right through here. So what we want to do is we want to have our hands right across our chest and just go back and forth. That is now you're, such a good... And you're mm. going to find some tender parts. Yeah. Where it's going to be like, yeah. Yeah. but just slightly yeah. roll through. Yeah. And you're going to feel so good yeah. after two or three minutes of doing this. They should call that a lifesaver. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And also drink plenty of water. That's a good idea. Stay hydrated, especially as the temperatures raise. Mm -hmm. You want to drink, stay hydrated, drink plenty of water, more than you think yeah. you need. Anything and for stretch. the blisters? Uh, gloves. <laughs> Good idea. Or hire somebody. If, they, yeah. <laughs> if you have a question for our experts, email them at asktheexpert at today's tmj4.com. You can also leave a voicemail. The number is right there. David, we appreciate you coming in and helping us out. Just ahead, 